Welcome back my Stellaris friends to some more Stellaris content guys today we are going to be talking about Messine Empires and some of my personal gameplay tips on how to play them and what to do and what not to do guys so that is what this video is going to be be about all right so without further ado let us start with the traits now guys first things first okay the tip number one is whenever you are going to build your machine empire the two traits that you want to have for me personally that works is the one that gives you the energy credits okay which you can see that gives you that plus 15 for the credits and then the mass produced for that pop speed plus 15 because the scene empires guys are what are used for the credits because food they don't do food they do not use food guys all right they use energy credits okay and for the pop speed you really want to have pop speed because machines can take a quite a while to build up okay so you so these two you really want to have in my own personal opinion um the ones that I don't really recommend you have is the high maintenance for the plus 10 ro robot upkeep. Don't get that. This is going to have all of your props really hard to have the upkeep. And then um, high bandwidth, the pie sprawl, plus 10, not that m much really. I wouldn't and then lastly um which one is it there is one that is that gives you this one um custom made guys so that gives you the, that minus 15 uh, speed don't do that guys don't get those so that is tip number one guys all right tip number two is whenever you're going to pick the origins i do recommend that you either start off with the saturn ring okay which would which will give you your very own ring world and those guys are extremely powerful what i'm going to show you with my empire okay this one right here guys all right so i really recommend that you play one but with either this one here, the Saturn Ring, the Ring World, or the Resource Consolidation, okay? With that, we'll start your home world as a machine planet. Completely machine planet. However, though, however, that one star system will be completely stripped of all of its resources and it will have a really nice energy credit uh, deposit as well okay so so those two either one you want to do that's just my own personal opinion of course and now when it comes towards your, your when it comes towards picking your civics um to be honest, this this one is really up to you. Um, whatever you really want to get is up to you guys. Um, like for mine, I do get that plus twenty pop speed because, like I said, building them does take a while. And then I got these zero waste protocols, so so I get that minus ten robot upkeep. But there are some some other ones as well um you can play as of course the the term exterminator driven the stimulator 
and all of those but to be honest guys this part is really up to you on how you want to do it um all right so that would be this tip part right here guys so whenever you are building them okay now we are going to jump towards some gameplay so I can show you a little bit more tips on just how to play as them all right guys let's go Okay, no. So here is my personal machine empire, the, the same one that I just showed you. Okay, um, centroid intelligence, which I gotta say, has to be one of my favorite ones that I've done so, so far. Because look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that diplomatic weight. Thirty-one thousand. Thirty-one thousand diplomatic weight. I love it. I'm basically number one in the Senate. But of course, sidetracked. Let's get to what I want to show you. All right, now tip number three when it comes towards playing your machine empire. Um, machines they do not have any pop consumer goods. So you can see here, which is zero, and food, which is zero. But for mine, I do, I do have some species that do, do require food. But of course, yeah. Okay. Now, the only ones that do have food, guys, are the rogue servitors and their bio trophies. As well as the driven the st stimulators for their cyborg pops. So th those two are the, the only ones that have food. But of course, if you do find a another species somewhere out there and you do have it, that will have food as well. So, but typically, food and pop consumer goods machines don't really have. Um, now, let me go to the, the traditions so I can show you on when it comes towards playing as the machine. I highly recommend that you get the machine world's perk because so you will then be able to terraform all your planets into machines and get some really good bonuses as from them. Um, so it says that pups living on machine planets have their uh, have the, the output increased by 10% and as well as the housing reduced by 10 along with the generated mining districts they are not limited by planetary features and the agricultural districts are going to be wiped out so what does that mean is all of my planets here that I have and my power are basically all machine worlds i have completely terraformed every single one into a machine world which i will show you here machine world wait see look at that there, there you go complete machine world my empire has all of them guys every single one Look at that, look at that guys, aren't they beautiful? All machines, and you can see how there is no agricultural districts because they are completely stripped 
down for any kind of food. But they do have some really good generator and mining that the destructs. They all do. All of my missing worlds. So that is a really good plus side to that. Um now what I was talking about playing as the ring world, okay, I will show you why it's also really good because guys generator and research look at that guys really really huge bonuses 120 for your four day energy credits as well as the next segment so if you do playing as the machine I do recommend that you play as the ring world because you won't really have any issues when it comes towards having your energy credits up because like I said machines they do require energy credits for to be able to self sustain themselves so they do recommend that and also you Got the resource condolence the resource consolidation which I just murdered that name by the way I'm sorry um, and then lastly the other thing that is also really good to have is a Dyson sphere just to put kind of like the pepper flakes on the, the hamburger which I know sounds weird to have that kind of and Nazi but like I said guys yes the Destin Sphere I do recommend that you also build one for that massive massive bonus of almost 4,000 energy credits all you need is one and then you will never have to worry about your energy credits ever again so yes um, alright guys, I think this will do for this little video on Machine Empires, Machine Empires, my little tip guide. Um, I don't think there is nothing really more that I can show you, basically, um, in terms of buildings we're sure they're kind of like the, the same um there there is still the admin cap there there's all that of course you have that um you have your unity of course the same thing with that uh research same thing you build those and i Think, I really think that's about it for usually playing as the Missing Empire guys. So let me know in the comments below if I did miss something. Um, I'm thinking about actually making a guide for Missing Empires. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that um, as well. And of course guys, thank you so much for watching, uh, smash the like, if you did like the video, and smash that sub, if you are brand new to Black Sun Gaming guys, and uh, yeah guys, thank you for watching, take care, and I will catch you guys in the next one, take care.